Now join us here on the Inland Sports Show, fresh off his first win at UC Riverside, coming against the Washington Huskies. It is the great Mike Magpio. And Coach, before we get to the win against the Huskies, I do want to say congratulations to you and your wife, the birth of your son. You had to miss the first game of the year. So just take me back maybe six, seven days in the last week or so, what it's been like to be Mike Magpio because it's been full of ups and downs and, and great moments that you will have for the rest of your life now. Yeah, it was, it was nuts. We, uh, you know, our, our big, uh, due January 5th actually. So we weren't even thinking about it. And then, uh, a couple weeks ago, she had a doctor's appointment and he's like, Oh, it's huge. New, <laughs> new due date, December 19th, but still it was a ways away. So we flew to Sacramento for the Pacific game, uh, a week ago today, actually, and uh, when, I, when I landed at the airport, it was 1.02 p.m. I remember I got a call from my wife, Caroline, and she's like, uh, I'm at lunch at work, and I, I think my water broke. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, well, and Tony, our, our, our team doctor, uh, trainer, said, uh, you better stay at the airport just in case. So I, the guys went on the bus. I told them, hey, I, I think I'm about to have a baby. And they're, they're, they would just start cheering and, and um, said, get your priorities straight, coach. So I... I waited at the airport and, and she told me, yeah, it's official. My water broke. So I, I bought a flight right back, turned around and flew back, you know, missed the first game. But uh, that morning, um, uh, like 10 a.m. in the morning, we, we, we had our, our, our my, my first baby, our first baby, um, Luca. And so he, it's been it's been wild ever since then. And that was Coach, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that was the day before Thanksgiving, I want to say at Pacific. Yeah, the, the Pacific game was was the day before Thanksgiving. It was Wednesday, yep. So your wife delivers Luca, and, and everything's great. You finally get to coach in your first game, and, and that was an experience as well because this game against the Washington Huskies in Las Vegas was just, from what it sounds like, just kind of thrown together at the last moment. You guys were just looking for games, and you're like, we'll take it. Yeah, what happened with well, Fresno State was um, canceled because they, they, they had a positive test, and uh, – you know, you start getting all these calls because that goes on the ticker that it's canceled and everybody started calling, uh, seeing if we we're interested to play. And, and this game popped up. Um, and uh, it's funny, I called Tamika um, and she said, let's do it, man, let's do it. And she kind of she kind of pushed me over the edge. Um, it was two, two mornings ago. It was the day before the game. And I said, you know what, let's do it. And the administration hustled it out and I had to cancel or, or postpone our Bethesda game. And you know, we got it done. They contracts went back for a little bit of a negotiation for like the rooms and all that stuff and the, and the dollars. Um, and I called, I had I actually I had Coach Weezy, our assistant, call a couple of the guys and just kind of get a temper. And it was like, hell yes, like we want to play. Like the guys were so hungry to play because they were bummed when I told them about Fresno. Um, we were about to get on the bus to Fresno and we, we got the call like, oh, they got, they tested positive. So we took it, man. And these guys just, they jumped on it, you know, did a team Zoom and they were just, they were hyped to play. They're just so hungry to play. And then I, it was just such a cool experience to, that I thought that they would get to play in T-Mobile Arena in Vegas against a Pac-12 team. And, and, you know, I wanted to get some sort of, you know, Fresno State would have been our battle testing because they're a Mountain West program. So I, I, I still thought that we needed that regardless of the result. And uh, obviously it was a great result. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, obviously, if uh, if I turn on uh, ESPN and Sports Center and there's UC Riverside highlights, uh, you guys obviously <laughs> did, you know did something right. Did you have a chance to see that? Did you see uh, some of the highlights and what they said about you guys? It was a Renze Chittum, you know, our our our, our pre conference player there. His high school coach Lou Ritchie called me and he's like, "Hey, you're on ESPN." I'm like, "What?" And I was actually I was at Zeps, our other assistants' apartment with our wives, just kind of celebrating and um, so we put on ESPN and there it was so that was completely unexpected and and uh you know it's crazy people are asking me like how hyped are you how hyped are you and I'm like you know I got home from the bus and just went straight to the hospital and I'm just like you know it's I think I was more calm more calm than than ever and, and I guess anybody who has kids knows I just my first week but your priorities kind of just you know you figure them out it's just I don't know I was a little calmer than than normal <laughs> in the game and I think that Luca's our, our, our lucky charm. I think the guys I think the guys like me more now that now that I had Luca. <laughs> that might be true. That might be the case. Coach, where did you I'm just curious, where did you uh watch the Pacific game from? Were you in the hospital room holding Luca? Like where were you? So we had the baby at ten AM and um 
you know, went through all the stuff after. And then a couple hours later, uh, two o'clock was the game time. And kind of, I kind of planned as like, Hey, Caroline, I'm going to watch the game, turned it on in the hospital. And I was obviously, I was going nuts trying I wish I could help. I was just wanting to be there so bad yelling at the computer, but, but the guys <laughs> did a great job. And Zach, um, basically my, 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 our top, our top assistant just did a fantastic job. Guys were, I could tell they were a little, um, there were some nerves early and it just took us, took us a whole half to settle in the game. And, 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 but that was encouraging just to see our second, like the second half felt like watching it from the computer felt like us. Like I was like, okay, that, that, that feels like what we were, um, what we've been um, defensively and just felt like us. And, um, and again, you think about the guys that were, you know, Flynn Cameron guys that we brought in and putting into the lineup, Jock Perry, although they're big high major transfers, they, they had to get used to playing together, playing in our system and just playing a lot of minutes. The first game Jock Perry played, played 33 minutes. You know, that, that, that he didn't play. He played like a hundred and something minutes total last year at St. Mary's. So it just, just getting used to that wind. And obviously he, he kind of settled in yesterday with, with 21 points. I believe, yeah, 21 points. So he, he's a, uh, and Flynn, Flynn, Flynn was great, played, led us in minutes yesterday. So, um, obviously, great win for us. And, and I'm, honestly, it was just don't think, just play. And I think that kind of helped the guys. It was just like, no, just go play. And, and, and it's a basketball game. Guys, there's a basketball game tomorrow. You guys want to do it? And they're like, yeah. And it was just kind of that mentality. Um, it just happened to be in a huge, arena, huge empty arena, which is kind of eerie, which is actually good if, if the Big West tournament is played in, in the Honda Center, just to kind of feel that. Yeah. Eerie. There's literally, literally nobody in the stands. So it's, it's kind of a trip. Coach, finally, you know, um, about the game, what did you guys do really well against Washington that you're like, okay, we can build on this as we go forward now? Well, we, we got our butts kicked on the boards against Pacific and we came back and, and kind of got back to that. You know, that's been a, a staple for us. And, and the two years, we, the first two years we've been here, even the first year, or we weren't as good defensively. We were always good rebounding wise. So we just really focused on that. Um, and then the, the, so we out rebounded them by 16 yesterday uh, to out rebound a PAC 12 team uh, by, by 16, a big deal for us. And so we got back to that in our preparation and just in a 24 hour, you know, Lezak did the assistant coach, Mike Lezak did the scout. He just got us really prepared, like really simplified the personnel. So the guys really understood what it was. And then, you know, Washington runs that Syracuse zone. Mike Hopkins runs, he, he was at Syracuse for 25 years. And so we just were really, really patient. And, um, you know, we didn't really, we, 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 we didn't shoot the ball that great, but we got really quality looks and then just got second chance opportunities because we were just crashing the boards. Well, coach, a new baby in the house right now, just entering the start of the college basketball season. You are not going to be sleeping very much. I got a prediction. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm excited, I'm excited though to get him. He, he's still in the um, the NICU just because he was 34 weeks preemie, pre pre um, but he's close. Like he's he's close to coming coming home. <laughs> the good news is like I'm like I'm getting coached. You know, I changing my diapers while I'm getting coached by the nurses. So it's kind of great. <laughs> because I'm like, oh, I'm still learning. You know, they're coaching me on how to feed him and, and all that. And they're like, just get ready. Like he's gonna come home soon, and you're not gonna be sleeping. So enjoying the last nights of of full sleep. <laughs> Well, Coach, everyone here at the Inland Sports Show, we are so thrilled for you and your wife. And then again, to to add on to that, to get your first win against a Pac-12 school. I mean, wow, what a, what a week for the Magpio family. So, Coach, congratulations. Thank you for taking a couple minutes with us here on the show. We do appreciate it. And best of luck on the next one. Thanks, Pep. Appreciate it, man. All right, that's Mike Magpio, head basketball coach at UC Riverside. Join us here on the Inland Sports Show.